How are you all doing? I am at the Bow um, Expo in Munich here uh, with Peter and uh, Carl in the background there. Um, they are from ML System in Poland, uh, one of the biggest manufacturers in the world of uh, PV glazing, uh, facades, a lot of really good products. So I'm going to do a couple of quick vlogs uh, with Peter here, um, just telling us a little bit about some of the great products that they have. Um, this is the future. Architects, building engineers, um, if you are ahead of the curve, you will be monitoring and uh, looking at what is available with regard to photovoltaic, glazing, facades, balustrades, tiling and so on. So we'll do a couple of vlogs to tell you all about. First one I'm going to tell you about is the quantum glass. Um, this is revolutionary technology. It is completely transparent. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm correct saying that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and it generates electricity from the sun. So it's photovoltaic glazing. Unlike crystalline glazing where you have the black square cells and um, there are no visible uh, solar cells within this glass, um, it generates electricity from the sun um, and is happened to win the Innovation Award at the whole of the BEO exhi uh, exhibition. Um, which I thought maybe just uh, involved glazing, but it's not. It's actually every single product in the whole exhibition together. Is there anything more you can tell us about this? Yeah, this we are using the different technique from monocrystalline cells. We are spreading the quantum dot layer okay. on the whole surface of the glass. And this is causing the, the production of energy. Okay. Um, how much power? I know some of this is still in development, but how much power are we generating per meter squared? At the moment, we are able to get about 30 watts per square meter. Watts per meter. So, as opposed to normal glazing, which absolutely does nothing for you whatsoever, um, this is something that generates electricity, so there's an element of payback with it. Um, obviously it's not as powerful as your typical crystalline, especially if you um, compress the cells together uh, if they're densely populated, um, but obviously you have an, a somewhat obstructive view if you do that. Um, so and it's hard. different uh, advantages that are coming together because we can uh, decrease the, the negative effect of the sun coming, energy coming to the building. Oh, yes. So we can avoid reducing... overheating of the building with the quantum dots yeah. because we are absorbing infrared, turning it into the electricity. Yeah, so you're reducing the solar heat gain yeah, as well. Yeah. So as well as generating power, you're reducing yeah. the power required yeah. for air conditioning, yeah. which is obviously a really strong yeah. uh, advantage. Um, okay, so this is something we can see as being very popular um, in the market. We are obviously introducing it to Ireland. Um, there is one added advantage. Um, if, for example, this was being put on the roof as a skylight, you can heat it. Um, so there's actually heat coming off this at the moment. Um, it's quite warm. Right? Yeah, it's quite warm. It is actually, yeah. Um, so if it's a skylight, um, you would normally have it at a bit of a slope, and if there's snow, for example, it, it can melt the snow. You don't necessarily, um, Peter was explaining this, yes, you wouldn't necessarily even have to have it on the whole roof, you might have it on the lower That's section. The bottom part. Exactly, so where the snow is, it melts correct. off, um, which is... Yeah. Lower the cost. Yeah, yeah. lower the cost, and it's a good design uh, option. Um, again. Um, that's just an added feature, um, the, uh, the quantum glass uh, does obviously work on its own um, and then you would introduce electricity um, that, you're gen yeah, that you're generating as an additional option if you want to use a glass. Yeah, so. Really good product. Uh, we'll move on to the next one.